What's up, Wikimaniacs? On today's episode, we have a mom who wants her daughter to live with her, a wife who needs to be less emotional when cooking, a boyfriend who wants to see his girlfriend in her birthday suit, a wife throws out dishes, and we have a wife who turns intimate time into a reward along with an update. For the Patreon exclusive stories, we have a doctor who gets told to shut up and an OP takes their grandkids to Disney World without permission. If those sound interesting to you and you want day early and ad free episodes, head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network. Reddit on Wiki starts now. Get therapy. What's up, Wikimaniacs? Welcome back to another Friday Am I the Asshole episode. It's your boy Josh here, joined, of course, with my two hosts, John and Sean. What is up, boys? Browns, 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 <laughs> browns, browns. And today's a special day, John. Uh, let us Ooh. know why it is special. Mother, dearest, happy birthday. I know you asked me to greet your happy birthday, but here it is. Mom, happy birthday. Hey, low-key, my mom is like, our biggest fan. I saw like that we key. were on the TV the other yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> she's off. She's she's off Mondays all the time, right? So she's like, I'm always on your premiere. I always watch it. And oh, then that's when awesome. uh, I'm talking to like members and my coworkers at work, like, I always tell you about their podcast. I got people subscribing to you. I'm like, Jeez. Mom, damn, that's what's up. I was like, Do you know how many dick jokes I've told in this episode <laughs> and or in the show in general? And I was like. She's like, oh, yeah, you know, you have your dad's humor. I'm like, you're goddamn right. So <laughs> happy birthday, mom. I love you. Uh, we should have gone out for food already. So like uh, we're celebrating. Hope you enjoyed um, that special lunch that we got. But uh, happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, Tita. Let's sing oh. it. Three, two, oh. one. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. This is rough on the <laughs> No, Josh will edit it. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll oh, get him the big it. bucks. Happy, happy, birthday, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you, you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday dear, dear, dear mother. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to, you, to you. Yeah, there you go, Josh. It's gonna sound so good. You got it. You got it. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah, sound yeah. so good. Man. You guys went way slower than I thought we were gonna go. <laughs> I, I, well, because you know we got, we got lags. You know. Yeah, I was trying to match the slowness, and then I realized, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> it's it's gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with that uh, out of the way, let's hop into the first story. Let's do we it. Cross posted on our subreddit by Wallscore. Whoa. Ooh. How does that work? Is that like the line one? Oh yeah, the one that's yeah. above the the slash. The one that I that's actually a, don't know a, what it's called. A di- <laughs> that's a Discord goat right there. Wall score. What is that line called? Now I'm just gonna call it a wall score, but I actually don't a bracket, know what that one's not called. Not bracket. No, it's um, not a bracket. What is that actually? It's the straight line. Thing. The straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Next to like just below the backspace. Yeah, on the yeah, keyboard. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a it's wall, wall score. score now. Fuck it. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> a pipe character. An what? Indent? A pipe character. Is that what right? What the hell is that? Mario gonna pop out of there? Oh my god. Oh, a carrot. Uh, it's called a carrot. A carrot. Interesting. Wall score is so much better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way agree. to dangle that from us, John. Uh all right. Well, shout out to you, Wall Score. Uh and the title for this one is Am I the Asshole for Wanting My Daughter to Come Live With Me Again? You could have your wants and needs. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Did you have like a distant relationship with your daughter and you're trying to like regain some old times back? But based on a title, it doesn't sound too crazy right now. Yeah, I would say, you know, wanting is fine. Forcing, not good. Is a different story. It's a different, whole different story. But we'll see. So you guys are saying not the asshole right off the bat? For now. Yeah, I'll say that. All right. So I had my daughter, Stephanie, when I was young, uh, 19 to be exact. And thus, I had to stop my whole life and raise her alone since her dad up and ran away till she was six. And later on, I met my now husband, Mike, 35 male. Uh, OP is 34 female and the daughter is 15 female at the time. That was in the title, but I didn't want to read that because 
That's a long title. It doesn't sound as nice. <laughs> it doesn't sound as nice on TikTok. <laughs> um, we fell in love quickly and got married when Stephanie was eight. Mike had two other kids, Olivia, nine female, and Jackson, six male. We tried hard blending our family, and it worked out for the most part, except Stephanie. She didn't like that she now had to share a room with Olivia and didn't like sharing me with them. She would throw tantrums and, I, and would correct them if they ever called me mom. Mike didn't like her attitude. And when Stephanie was 10, he told me to either pick him or her. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, OP is the asshole for sure. Mike's a piece of shit as well. Uh, back then, Stephanie was at fault. So I picked Mike and sent her to my parents. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, a ten-year-old. Nah, oh, God, yeah, you would. Mike's you gotta have, go, bro. Play, bro. <laughs> Y'all should have separated at that point. If it's ever an adult uh, bickering with a ten-year-old, the adults usually in the wrong. <laughs> yeah, but also I can kind of probably understand why that could be the case. Maybe it was like driving their family apart and the other two kids might not be comfortable with Stephanie either. So absolutely. But that's not the uh, way to, but then divorce, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let yeah, the family that's what be that's driven what I'm apart. To get at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not an ultimatum thing. It's a, okay, my kids aren't happy. Your kids aren't happy. That's Bye. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had a huge fight once my mom realized I was sending her there for a while. And my dad called me a bunch of names for abandoning my daughter, which did I wasn't. She, did she put quotation? She put quotes, yeah, oh, <laughs> on abandoning. <laughs> oh, brother. I was letting her have her space and save the, uh, the peace of the family. Did you ask her about it? Did you ask if she wanted the space? Or? Probably not. Uh, I did keep tabs on her online and like... Online? And my- <laughs> oh, you don't even <laughs> visit her? Visit? <laughs> online is crazy. Yeah. Uh, Just checking your tweets and shit, bro. Like what the fuck? A ten year old what even From what, I, what online presence does the ten year old even have? I have uh, no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Neopets, is that shit still? Showing my age here. I don't know. <laughs> uh I did keep tabs on her online and like I knew my parents set her straight and she started doing well in school and had lots of friends and is really involved in their community. I tried calling her often, but she would dismiss me fast, saying my mom wanted her to help make dinner or my dad wanted to take her camping, so she was out. Now, on to the problem. As if the last two paragraphs weren't the problem. (laughs) (laughs) Mike and I finally got a house that has enough bedrooms for everyone, including Stephanie. I went to get her back home, but she told me she liked living with her grandparents, as they were nicer and more fun than me, and she liked how big her room is. And in brackets, my dad made it specifically for her. Uh, she also loved her animals and in brackets, my parents own a big farm and she has lots of animal friends, cows, horses, and such. And she didn't want to leave her friends and community she built in their small town. I told her I wanted her back home, but she said, no, my parents told me I couldn't force her. And we argued and I yelled at them that they couldn't keep my daughter from me. They kicked me out saying Stephanie picked her home and I need to accept it, whether I like it or not. I tried calling and texting Stephanie, but she's now blocked me. So am I the asshole for wanting my daughter back home? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y- you ab- I made a choice. <laughs> yeah. You abandoned <laughs> her. And then she fucking thrived in the five years away from you. And then you're like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, we got a room. That was the whole issue, right? That was the only problem. All our problems are fixed because we have a room for you now. No. Yeah. She's so dense because she's like, yeah, that's what she thinks. She truly thinks it was just, oh, they were sharing a, a room. room. That was the issue. Yeah. Like, no, you uprooted her whole life to live with basically strangers that she doesn't know. She had to share a room mm-hmm. with. And yeah, she, she didn't get around with the kids. Uh, that's not the kids' faults. That's yeah. the parents' fault. <laughs> it sounds like y'all didn't try to work through anything uh, to, you know, help the situation. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. yeah, she gotta go. And then you were like, I guess you're right. Let me kick my yeah. 10-year-old daughter out of the house. I mean, blended families are tough, man. Yeah, and and the fact that she was able to thrive like her grandparents and kind of form a personality of her own and Mm kind of, you know, enjoy the things that she enjoys now and all of a sudden the mom wants to reap the rewards of the hard work that the grandparents have done? Nah, bro, you you made a choice and you got to stick with it. Yeah. I do worry about the legality of this situation, though. Like, how does that work? Oh, I would only imagine going, if she went to the judge, and was explaining the win. situation. The okay, judge okay. would laugh her out of the fucking room. <laughs> I would hope so. And she, 
I, 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 from the context that I'm hearing, I don't even think like she's providing any monetary support to her grandparents. She just kind of was like, here you go. You can kind of get that go feeling there. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. when you make these Reddit posts, you're trying to get people on your side. And that would be a thing to get people on your side <laughs> to mention. So uh, it not being mentioned might as well be the truth. Yeah. Keeping tabs gives me the ick. Cause you're like, to me, that doesn't sound like you're actively checking on them. You're just checking their presence and not necessarily like, Hey, how are you doing? Or having those types of conversations. It's just the verbiage for me is throwing me off a little bit. Well, it's probably just the grandparents are like posting pictures of when they all do fun stuff together. And she's like, all right, cool. She's safe. Oh, she's good. That's yeah, she's my fine, tabs. But- tabs checked. Yep. It's insane. It's like, it's like. Like she got like literally it's online tabs that she's checking. Yeah, over <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. And like, uh, I guarantee like, it sounds like they live decently far away. Uh, but you still like, I don't know. So many things wrong with this. Mike sucks as well. Fuck him. Um, yeah, I get this. He's protecting his kids, but you can't should have divorced. If it yeah. was really, if it was really exactly. the case. That's exactly it. Or find another solution. You it's know insane I mean? to give mm-hmm. an ultimatum, uh, between, your new wife and their daughter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then it's insane to actually follow through and kick a 10 year old. out. <laughs> what yeah, kind of yeah. wild. There's another thing too. Like uh, is this is like a double whammy for like the kid, right? One, the father didn't want to be in a picture. And now the mom, the biological mom was like, Oh yeah, I also don't want you. either." Yeah. That's a fucking blow to my confidence. If that ever happened. And she's oh, yeah. finally fucking hit her stride. Living life the way and she loved wants. And loved at a home. Yeah. Where she's wanted. Yeah. In a community where she has tons of friends. Yeah. And then you're like, well, we got an extra room now. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Come on over. You know, Time to bring you back into this ass. family that didn't want you five <laughs> yeah. years ago. Yeah. Insanity. Uh, and Reddit deemed uh, asshole. Uh, there weren't many other comments that said much different than what we said. So yeah. Uh, we'll just oh, good. Move on to the next story. <laughs> just get it. Uh, this one's cross posted by Salamander Neither six nine five. The title for this one is "Am I the asshole for telling my wife to be less emotional when cooking?" Shit, maybe it's a culinary experience that they're experiencing, <laughs> or they're cutting onions and it makes you cry. Or you should get off your fucking stupid fucking uh, high horse and cook. Sounds like you're not cooking. True. Shit. Why is I'm going you? asshole. I'm going asshole as well. Sounds like a lot of complaining. Like, why do you do it like that? As opposed to actually getting up and helping do the thing. Doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see that. Uh, Yeah. Also, why is being emotional a bad thing when cooking? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I cry all the time. You got a problem with me, bitch? (laughs) Emotions are good, y'all. They are good. I agree. So earlier today, my wife texted me that she found a recipe in a magazine that she was reading last week and she wanted to try making it. She insisted on stopping by the store on her way home from work to buy the ingredients. This annoyed me because I had planned out the meals for the week and I have previously requested that any deviation from the schedule be communicated to me at least one week in advance. Nonetheless, I let her try to cook. Sounds like the egg guy. (laughs) The egg guy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember he was like, she used one of my eggs. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Having yeah. a schedule, like, I know you do this, John. Uh, yes. You, you, you schedule out your meals for the week. But I schedule my whole life out, Josh. Me and Nancy try to schedule our meals for the week. <laughs> try is the key word. Yeah. <laughs> yes, like, but if there's deviations, that's fine. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> so. Although, I will say, and this is from, like, my, my neurodivergence coming in. When, when habits and, like, uh, 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 routines are broken... It is pretty rough mentally. I will, I will give that caveat at least. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so when she got home, she got right to work, chopping vegetables, boiling water, etc. I work for, from home and I needed to finish a few things, so I left her to cook in the kitchen. About an hour later, my wife came and got me. She led me into the kitchen and seemed very pleased with herself. It smelled and looked delicious. And she had even poured us glasses of red wine and lit some candles. From the first bite, though... I knew something had gone terribly wrong. (laughs) She had made a chicken and noodle casserole and it tasted very salty, almost like Mm. pickles. I spat out my forkful and calmly but firmly asked her what she had done. I was struggling to get the taste out of my mouth. She walked uh, up to the recipe and deciphered that she had added one tablespoon of salt instead of one teaspoon of salt. Mm. 
which is not that crazy. <laughs> it's not that different, is it? It's triple the amount. Yeah, but I have but also, conversions. Uh, I, I mean, when you do, I mean, it depends on how big the dish is, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, there are so many things that you could like add to make to like even out the balance it out. Yeah, Yeah, get 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 some fucking lime or lemon to like balance out the exactly and like the saltiness. Something. Uh, I told her that she was too excited about the recipe and that she let her emotions take over. Mm -mm -mm. I reminded her that if she had controlled her emotions, she wouldn't have sped through the recipe. This is likely one of such a silly mistake. (laughs) Response to "Oops, I put a little bit too much salt." Uh, What the fuck? You're too emotional (laughs) when you cook. (laughs) Huh? Read- which is crazy because it's ironic because he's being emotional right yeah now. he's the one freaking out and she's probably like i was grabbing lemons for us to fix it like yeah yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah <sighs> hope he seems strange stupid my wife turned red and looked down at the floor all she could muster was i just wanted to do something nice i got up from the table scrapped the inedible food into the trash and ordered a pizza oh at- oh no nah. <laughs> At this point, I was in no mood to return to my original food schedule. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're scrapping. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Also, what an insane thing to do. Uh, Yeah, uh, I'm going to scrap this, you know, slightly salty food for a pizza that's, you know, salty. (laughs) Sodium heavy. Just fucking, (sighs) it's so easy to Google, oh, how to, you know, fix this. Balance it out. Yeah. Yeah. No reason to fucking flame your partner who made dinner, uh, fucking poured your wine, lit some candles. Yeah. Mate, and, and not only that, it's the fucking emotional labor and mental labor of getting, uh, getting fucking ingredients, planning out something for your bitch ass, making an effort to do all that shit to make you feel good. And you fucking... Slam that shit on her saying, oh, this shit sucks. Yeah. And you order pizza to just on top of it. Also, Boy, yeah, you are she let you an idiot. do your work, extra work while she cooked. She could have easily asked, you know, like, oh, man, I'm getting overwhelmed in here. I need some help. Yeah. But, you know, she did her thing. And then it's, yeah, two extra teaspoons of salt. I mean, you could fix that shit, bro. Yeah. Also, like. You're being, yeah, he's being salty for no reason. Like, yeah. seriously. <laughs> You should get some lemon juice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, like pretty much everyone who tries a recipe for the first time fucks up something. You know what I mean? So it's like a learning experience. Uh, so I don't know. Anyway, it I gets, was, it I, gets was worse. I was waiting. I was. Oh, okay. Never mind. I yeah. was gonna. Hold, I'm gonna hold off yeah, to one. We're, I'm we're say not that. done yet. <laughs> uh, so when I was done ordering, I asked my wife how she would avoid doing such things in the future when she cooked. <gasps> Bitch, I, you don't know, fucking. <laughs> Ooh, I'd be so mad. Oh, he's lucky I'm not his goddamn wife. You'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my wife seemed angry about the question and said that I should just drop it. I refused. I told her that she had wasted our money on these ingredients only for us to throw out the entire dish away. You dumb bitch. I asked her if she even cared about how that made me feel, but she just shook her head and angrily stormed out of the room. I've been trying to get her to speak to me for a few hours, but she just wants to pout. I get so tired of her ridiculous behavior and I feel incredibly disrespected by her. I guess she wants me to apologize, but I was the one who ultimately saved dinner. So am I the asshole? <laughs> B- bitch, bitch, bitch. The only meal you need is a fucking roast right now. And I hope oh Reddit flamed God. the fuck a, out of your dumb ass. A knuckle sandwich. Yeah, I was about to say a knuckle yes. sandwich. I thought that's where you were leading to. So did I. <laughs> this is fucking terrible. Like when, the, when it first happened and whenever he was like, how could you do this? I'd be like, oh man, like part of me, like so bad. I was like, I think you end it. And I was like, I, no, that's, <laughs> that's overboard. That's too far. That's, that's too far. You can't fucking do that. And then and the then story kept the going. Haymaker. And then I was like, yo, this is divorce, right? This is, I would not, yeah. I just would not deal with that kind of disrespect. I'd be like, oh man, this is, yeah. I, so you, shitty. I feel like you don't love me if you fucking talk to me like this. Bro, and the irony in this whole story is he titled it for her getting too emotional when he got it's him over so over the top emotional. (laughs) I mean, Uh, all he had to do was squeeze a lemon. (laughs) Yep, that's it. I'm sure it would have tasted delicious had you just squeezed a lemon, dude. Like lemon, honey, sugar, something. 
you dumb bitch. Man, like it's it's crazy to me because like if this happened to me, we would laugh about it and be like, uh, oh, you know what? Like, let's order something or like it'd be a, a fun moment together or like a learning experience for both people. I, I, like your partner's trying to do something nice for you <laughs> and you just shit all over it. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I have insane. had like a kitchen meltdown, but it was when I was cooking and I fucked it up. Oh yeah, I've had that too. <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, I've had similar stories where I'm super excited to make a food. I cook it, I fuck it up, and then I'm just yeah. like, "All right, we get we obviously we're I'm not going to fucking again. eat fuck this. this, fuck this thing." But and like then the next day, you're cooking. <laughs> I would never if Nancy fucked up in the kitchen. I would never. Uh, this is just not a normal person reaction to this. You no. know what I mean? You just like Josh said, just be like. How do you feel about it? Like, I think it's a little salty. <laughs> do you think it's a little salty? No. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll just squeeze lemon in mine. Oh, we do both think it's salty. Let's, you know, fix it. Or, oh, this is beyond repair. Let's fucking get takeout. It's, there's, uh, it, there's no, in the, Something. in the graph of common sense <laughs> responses, the one that Ain't OP none. gave was like so far <laughs> off over left the field. top. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the moment like if Sienna did this and the moment she said, oh, I, I added a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon, I'm laughing because that's funny. Yeah. It's not like uh, I'm not making fun of her, but it's just a funny situation. It's like, oh, yeah, I could see I've done that before. You know what I mean? Like I have fucked up. Uh, and so like it, it's OK and it's OK to make light of the situation, but to just constantly rag on her and that's demean just her, her at, like acts of love and trying to like make you food it's labor yeah. it's crazy yeah dude yeah. every oh every action oh. was insane spitting out yeah. the food insane move uh, not <laughs> reprimanding ex- just the, all every further sentence i was like this guy is actually insane i think this, this <laughs> Bro. Is so bad yeah. There was like a few times where Juliet made a meal and like she always go like when she tasted first she's like I don't like it it's not good like I'm I don't want it and I try it I'm like what the fuck are you talking about give me like three bowls of this shit <laughs> like bro like you spent like two hours or three hours cooking up a meal and, and I don't know man like that th- this this guy's gonna be single very very soon I, I, I hope so already I hope found found in a ditch somewhere because <laughs> if that was me. Yeah, I, I would not be dealing with that disrespect. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get it better tomorrow. <laughs> fucking whatever you you do to murder somebody in a person. I don't fucking know. Sean's going to jail. I'm going to jail for this, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um so Reddit deemed asshole. And As they should. Rum Jun uh said letting her emotions take over. Uh, is the most ridiculously misogynistic way to describe someone accidentally swapping a tablespoon for a teaspoon. Asking her if she cared how you felt after you had a reaction or after you had reacted so unbelievably poorly to a cooking mistake, claiming Mm -hmm. that she's ridiculous for not talking to you after this and even you feeling disrespected by her. Each of these is truly insane. She clearly tried to do something incredibly kind for the two of you and you could have laughed off the mistake and just gotten takeout. Instead, you ruined the evening and made things much worse. You're the asshole. Yeah, for sure. And I think that hit all of the correct notes. Man, that was uh, infuriating. Whew. So let's move I on. Kind of, I was kind of, I was, I was going to say, I was kind of waiting. If it was like a cultural food, I, I would have went off way more. <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as you said casserole, you kind of zoned out for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, like, like oh, casserole. Uh, so pasta or whatever. I don't give a shit. Uh, let's move on to another relationship story. This mm-hmm. one's cross posted by Hello Peaches 96 The title is, Am I the Asshole for Wanting to See My Girlfriend Naked? I mean... <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'll, I'll, I don't blame you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> who, do, who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> who, who fucking doesn't? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I, I've, of course, context is always key. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah. there's a time and a place for that. So... <laughs> I guess in an inappropriate time, you you would be considered an asshole. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the middle of Target, asshole. Asshole. At home in your bedroom, yeah. completely normal. Yeah, fine. <laughs> when you said uh, in your in your bedroom, <laughs> all I could hear was the Shaggy song. Uh, the it wasn't me. Yeah. me on the counter. <laughs> on the counter. <laughs> That's a bop. That is a bop. <laughs> It is also insane. The lyrics, <laughs> the <laughs> lyrics like, are crazy. Oh, she caught you on that. And she was like, "Okay, okay." 
Um, caught him everywhere. God damn. We need to deep clean this <laughs> <Yeah>. house. <laughs> and he just I says, I have to move. <laughs> he just has a silver tongue and is like, oh, yeah, that wasn't me. All right. I believe you 100%. <laughs> All right. So I, 27 male, have been in a relationship with Jane, 25 female, for six months. She's smart, funny, kind, sassy, giving, and a little bit annoying. LOL. She's a total okay. knockout and way out of my league, except she doesn't see herself that way. Jane is on the bigger side and I am more lean. I like to go to the gym and work out and I'm naturally just very bony. So I do not have a ton of extra fat on my body. God, the dream, brother. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nice. The fucking that dream, is a, that brother. That is a dream. God, oh, shit. Yeah. And he's I got tall. a lot to donate if you want some. Yeah. And he's tall. He's 6'1". If I could give away to all the... <laughs> the amount of times I've had skinny people in my life be like, damn, I wish I could gain weight. Bitch, if you don't fucking Bitch. shut your goddamn mouth around me, I swear to God. Give me some of your knees too, shit. Let me at least be 5'8". God damn. Oh man, I try to eat so much to get the gains, you know what I mean? I just I just keep losing weight. You fucking asshole. You fucking, <laughs> you fucking <laughs> chicken. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I eat a spoonful of me. rice and I gain like 10 pounds. Some shit. Don't man. fucking talk to me. Uh, so I am 6'1", uh, tall, but not like giant. Overall, I would say I'm average. Fuck you. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> asshole. Fucking bitch. Skinny and 6'1", you fuck you, you man. Bitch. Be happy. <laughs> Sean's like, you are the asshole. I'm done with the story. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm five nine and morbidly <laughs> medically morbidly obese. So don't fuck same here, but yeah. shorter. You bastard. Jane tells me I'm the hottest guy to ever look at her, and I'm not gonna lie. I love that she sees me that way. What I don't like is how she sees herself. Mm -hmm. Like I said, she's on the bigger side, and she especially hates her apron belly, as she calls it. When we first started seeing each other, she would only give me head and not even let me touch her. I didn't push the issue because I didn't want to be creepy and enforce her into something. But one day I finally asked her why she didn't let me return the favor. And she responded genuinely with a, I just didn't think you would want to do that to me. I finally got her to understand that I was dying to make her feel good too. And we started to, uh, and we started a more active and reciprocative lifestyle. Uh, Reddit, I won't be gross, but I will just say, wow. Truly the best I've ever had, and I love every inch of this. <laughs> yeah, fist bump. Oh, that's sure. a, Go oh, that's knock a, that devil's doorbell, baby. Let's fucking go. As soon as he said, don't be too cross, I knock was away. like, yeah, fist up, brother. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> knock away, that's brother. That's what I'm talking knock about, away. brother. Let's go. Uh, truly the best I've ever had, and I love every inch of this girl's body. She is perfect. The only thing now is that she keeps her shirt on during sex, and we have to keep the lights off. Every time, I just want to see her so damn bad but I don't want to make her uncomfortable. I truly believe she does this because she's afraid I won't like what I see, but that is so far from the possibility. Her perfect face, lips, hair, eyes, legs, shoulders, knees, and toes are great, and I will gladly take anything she's willing to give me. But if I can have a preference, I want it all. I just want her to feel as beautiful and desired as she is. I'm worried asking for this will have the opposite effect, like she's not doing enough for me already. So would I be the asshole if I push this issue any further? I wouldn't say push the issue, yeah. but just kind of have that conversation. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like she has some, uh, like, self-image issue, um, which, is, which is also kind of compounded by the beauty standards in today's society, which is fucking insane. For sure. Um, and, you know, like, maybe the conversation that you could be having with, with your girlfriend is like, hey, you know, like, you know, I love you. Keep reaffirming how much you're attracted to her, um, which seems like you're already doing. Um, and then, you know, occasionally say like, hey, would would you be OK to possibly do like uh, a therapy with me or like by yourself to kind of address some of the, the issues that you're experiencing? Um, it seems like you guys have a great relationship. It, it, you guys talked it out and you initially there was only, it was only her giving it to you. But now, like you were able to have a conversation that you know, kind of reciprocating. Um, you have a great foundation in your relationship. Slowly but surely um, bring that subject uh, to her and hopefully she's reciprocated to uh, getting some help that she needs. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it, it sounds like this would be just awfully similar to the previous talk you had about, you know, you reciprocating uh, sexual acts mm -hmm. or whatever. So yeah. it's just, I feel like if you came at her and, you know, pretty much just, or braid him this reddit post you know 
Uh, you make it pretty clear, you know, you only want to do what she's comfortable with, but you know, yeah. you, yeah, as her partner would be interested in, you know, whatever else, like, uh, you have to have a, a, a healthy, uh, communication when regarding like intimacy and things like that, I think. So For yeah, sure. there's a, uh, I would say there's no reason to keep that a secret. You know what I mean? Yeah, just explain yeah. it to her like you did the other thing. And it sounds like. It, it yeah. should go off without a hitch. And, you know, if she has reservations, be cool she'll with it, man. It. She'll, she'll tell yeah. you. Uh, and I feel like, you know, it, y'all are only six months in. Uh, life is, is long. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll, it'll happen. No need to rush Absolutely. anything. Just bring it up. And then whenever she's ready, uh, it'll happen. Yeah, it yeah. seems like y'all, y'all have, you're doing any, everything that you need to be doing to like address your, your relationship. And again, a foundation is everything. And y'all, y'all got a solid one mm. so far. So, and my dude, give props. You're not creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, that. you're a good you're guy, cool it sounds like, which is you're cool. You're a good dude, seems like. Uh, it's a, it's a, a rarity on this show. Yeah. Rare dub, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, and a lot of people were saying like, you know, try some candles, uh, different things like that. Instead of, you know, no lights, just slowly build to that. Uh, have open conversations. A lot of people were saying, obviously. Enough mid-score fix 5469 said, I've been in a relationship where she never wanted to take her shirt off during sex as well. Uh, she was self-conscious because of having a baby. Uh, don't push the issue. Let her know how you feel about her completely and let her slowly work up to it. Just be as supportive mm-hmm. as possible. Show her how much you care about her and let her build the self-confidence she needs to discover in herself. And so I th- think that's an excellent... You want her to... like Because it's clearly a confidence issue. Uh, and just let her know you're there supporting her. Uh, don't push her into anything. Let her build her confidence up um, and find ways to slowly build up to that point. You know what I mean? Yeah. As someone who has like really bad confidence issues and like bad self image, any anytime like Juliet says something like, oh, you're, you know, your hair looks good today or, or you look different in a, in a good way type of thing. Dude. That shit makes my day. I don't give a fuck what happens for the rest of the day. I'm like, God, oh, you looking at me like that. Okay, maybe, you know, <laughs> what's up? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, OP does put an edit here to uh, kind of encompass some of the stuff uh, that he encountered in the subreddit. Some of it was terrible. Um, they say, edit, thank you to everyone who has submitted helpful advice and just kind words overall. Most of you fall into this category, but to the few that don't, kindly go fuck yourself. I didn't post here to get your fat phobic opinion on my girlfriend's body. I posted here to get advice on how to make uh, her more comfortable being totally bare with me, which I do feel like I got. I still have not spoken to her, but I have ordered some red lights, sexy, uh, sexy teddies and tops that are easy to pull down. (laughs) And as a few of you suggested getting boy, I'm also so stocked up with candles. The fire department may have me on a watch list. Uh, I'm going to give my girl the lingerie because I, it made me think of her. And if she wants to wear it, great. If not, also great. I got a beautiful girl who I love sleeping in my bed every night. So life will be good either way. Oh, yeah. Keep that fire burning, baby. Love it. Love, love, love to hear it. Also, love you telling those fat phobic pieces yeah, of shit off. Fuck those people, yeah. man. Like, part of me is like, Surprised and not surprised that that happened. Because like, what does that oh, have Reddit? to do with anything? But then with I'm like, anything. oh yeah, it's Reddit. It's 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 social media anything yeah yeah any any place someone can be anonymous and just be a dick it will happen yeah. i feel like instagram so. and twitter are worse but also sometimes i don't get into like the worst of reddit because i'm just mostly on ours uh i would say instagram's probably not as bad it's bad but i would say at least there's a connection to your identity on instagram so people are a little mm. bit more hesitant to maybe say i'm just thinking shit. of wrestling things wrestling instagram yeah. is yeah, terrible wrestling- is the worst sports in general. <laughs> yeah, is the sports worst. in general. Yeah, yeah. I mean, trust me. I've I've tweeted out mean. I've never added an athlete, but I've meted. I, I've <laughs> tweeted out mean tweets before. I've been like, God damn, mean tweet. This guy fucking <laughs> fucked my fantasy lineup. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I'm never one of the weirdos that like ats or responds to like celebrities and be like, you fucked my day up. Yeah, you know, I hate that. Too shit. parasocial. Yeah, I hate yeah, that. Shit. I'm good. Cause you can be mad as a fan for sure of sports and be like, damn it. You missed that free throw or whatever it happens to be. Yeah. But to yeah, be I like, I hope you're fucking team. getting a wreck and yeah. never play ball again. I'm like, Jesus it's crazy. fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, calm down a little bit. It's just a game, man. It's just a game. <laughs> yeah. Relax. Yeah. They're people too. Yeah, for they real. Are. They're rich, they're, rich, they're rich, rich people, but yeah. they're still people. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
Um, all right. Well, let's move on to the next one posted on Am I the Asshole by Anxious Midscore Ad Midscore 2543. And the title is Am I the Asshole for Being Mad at My Wife for Throwing Out Our Dishes? Damn, are they expensive dishes? Are they like China pieces? Or the what? best China. Mm. Mm. You know, maybe she, you know, uh, was trying to surprise you, you know, some spring cleaning. Be like, oh yeah, we never use these plates. Let's let's get rid of these. But <laughs> <laughs> so I I'm they, go no. It could be a, a good intent. Uh, so it'd be hard to be mad at them, you know, if the intention was good. I have a feeling it's an heirloom. Yeah. It's going to be like okay. his childhood Power Ranger plate or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Like, or like a collectible or some yeah. shit like that. Babe, I've been saving that 2001 Phantom <laughs> Menace Star Wars plate. <laughs> Sounds oh, like you have a, yeah. the Disney Hercules one. That was my favorite as a kid. No, mm. I do have a Power Ranger bath towel still that I just Ooh. keep and I don't know what to do with it. Not in good condition. Wow. Can't resell it. But I'm also like. Well, I'm not just going to throw this away. I mean, yeah, don't throw it away. It's a mighty more than Power Rangers bat towel from the <laughs> 90s. Someday this will be worth a fortune. Yeah, I'll just wrap my baby in it and feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so my wife and I have been having this argument for a while where she thinks I don't rinse the dishes well enough before putting them in the dishwasher. Oh. Where are y'all on that, by the way? Do y'all- Rinsing them off? Yeah, do y'all rinse them off completely? I have some friends that just fucking full send dirty dishes <laughs> in the dishwasher. I'm like, I just don't think it, I don't think the technology is there. Or maybe I'm just too poor uh, to have like a, a top of the line dishwasher. But I, I borderline almost clean the entire dish before putting it in the dishwasher. See, I me- have a top of the line dishwasher and I still pre wash them. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I do, if it's got like, like, condiments or any anything on it i'll, I'll rinse it yeah, just rinse good. Yeah. but if it's like crumbs or something i just throw it in you know what i mean oh shit like, well yeah, I- <laughs> my family like did not growing up they do it now my parents do it now which is weird but when i was a kid uh we hand washed all the dishes and then just everything yeah and then just put them in the dishwasher as like a oh, dry as a rack, rack. yeah <laughs> and i yep. was like uh, whenever I found out it could like actually clean the dishes, I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I didn't know it was a machine for a long time. I thought it was just a rack. Yeah. I was, wait a second. What have we been doing? But even then that, that has instilled uh, trust issues with it. I, I don't. And I That's think fair. it's the right, I think you should rinse. I don't know. Well, For me, it feels like I'm wasting more water doing that. Cause I'm like. That's true. Know. That's what the commercials say. They say just stick them yeah. in there dirty. I just no. Nah, I just I don't I, believe. I don't know. It's for me, it feels it makes me feel better if I like scrape some stuff off and like a little pre rinse. For sure, that's what I I like like a middle ground where it's like if it's if it's stuff I'm like oh this will be stuck on I'll try and rinse or at least soak it or something mm-hmm. like that. But if it's like yeah crumbs or anything I'm like oh that'll come off no problem and it yeah I'm pretty good like ninety eight percent of the time it comes <laughs> up clean. <laughs> uh, all right, where were we? Oh, yeah. She's brought it up several times. Apparently, the dishes aren't getting clean enough in the dishwasher for her liking. And she says she keeps having to rewash them because they have dried food stuck to them. I've never seen her do this. And I've never noticed an issue when I unload the dishwasher myself. So I keep telling her I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, finally, she got sick of it. And one day after I got home from work, she told me if she finds any more dishes that didn't come clean in the dishwasher... She was going to throw them out because she's sick of rewashing them. I shrugged it off as an empty threat. She values our belongings more than that, or so I thought. Sure enough, last night I went to grab a butter knife and saw we were out, even though I heard her unloading the dishwasher right before I walked into the kitchen. I threw away a paper towel a minute later and found several of the damn knives in the trash. I did a quick inventory of our kitchen and found we were low on plates and other silverware as well. When I confronted her about it, she admitted to throwing them away because they came out of the dishwasher dirty. She's been doing this all week and our trash was already collected this morning. So it's pretty much all gone, save for a couple of knives. It turned into a big argument, our biggest yet. I can't believe she would throw out stuff away like that with uh, no thought to how much it would cost to replace them, uh, that they weren't even damaged to begin with. She feels she's justified because she won, uh, warned me that's what she would do if I didn't do what she asked. And then uh, he asks who's the asshole here, but there is an edit that he adds at the end. Okay. Edit, 
to add in all fairness, a detail I forgot oh, to okay. include. Here it is. The, mm. the knives I recovered from the trash were in fact dirty. There was black crap gunked up on the teeth from me slicing bananas from the day before. So who is the asshole here? I was about to say, uh, it seems like, <laughs> you know, if he says he didn't see anything, he could just look at the knives that were thrown away and then be like, look, babe, look, there's nothing on these fucking knives. So why did you? Yeah. Uh, but really feels like he left out <laughs> like pretty crucial that part those though. dishes were in for fact sure dirty. dirty. <laughs> that, and he said, and he's in a story. He said that like he saw her loading the dishwasher. So is he really loading the dishwasher? I feel so when it, he does it. It's probably wrong too. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. It, it sounded like every part of this was her unloading and loading the dishwasher. Also, he, he said, so. whenever I do it, I don't notice it. But also, but then he never so referred it's a to rare him doing time. It. But yeah, but who knows if he actually is doing it. Yeah. Uh, and then the one time we have concrete proof that like these it was came bad. out of the dishwasher, they're gunky with black uh, shit from the bananas that he didn't wash off. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. I, I mean, mean, me personally, fucking my poor ass, I would not be trash and shit. But I would do is I would buy, I would go to Walmart and buy a safe. And every dirty oh. dish I would clean and then keep in the safe for me to use because I know how to wash dishes. I like how Sean's like, I'm too poor to buy new dishes, but a brand but new I safe will is safe. But I will <laughs> buy a safe. I imagine they can't be that expensive. How much is a safe? Safe's probably way more expensive than dishes. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, but I like the I thought know. process. You could hide it. I guess yeah, you, you can hide, hide it. Hide it. Yeah. Or put or it in your car like and then lock your car <laughs> <laughs> and keep the keys on you at all times. Uh, and then buy paper plates or something. Yeah, he could buy his own goddamn paper plates. I'm fine on plates. I got plates for days. <laughs> They're in, in my goddamn car. <laughs> it sounds like, of course, the the added context towards the end, it kind of skews a little bit to like, okay, you kind of fucked up there a little bit. Maybe it's been repeated how many times you haven't been doing it. But you know, it just sounds like they just have two different cleaning standards and they need to find a way to compromise that makes both of them happy for some sort. Cause it sounds like also like they seem like the type of people that are like, Oh, it's my way or the highway type of shit. Yeah. Very stubborn. Yeah. Because <laughs> she, she, you know, explained her need. And then he was just like, nah, that's wrong. No. Like, okay. <laughs> like, you know, are we not going to even <laughs> yeah. talk about it? Uh, I've never witnessed it. So you've never witnessed it. But this then also, I guess you could say it's on the other side as well because she was like, Oh, it's always dirty. And I feel like all, using always in an argument is always such a bad act. Well, always, there's yeah. me saying always. <laughs> but I feel like... Uh, it's almost always. <laughs> most of the time, it's not, uh, you know... it. it 60% of the time, it 100% happens. Yeah, 60% of the time, it's a bad idea every time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I feel he didn't even try to meet her standards or even try to rinse off his, his dishes or anything yeah, like that. He scraped that off of the story, that last detail. <laughs> well, he's yeah, saying exactly. he straight up just does not rinse, right? Yeah. Essentially. Just throws him in. Yeah, sure. he just throws him in. Says. Which goes back to our conversation before the story <laughs> started. You gotta rinse. <laughs> yeah. Rinse anything that's gonna stick to your knives or something. Yeah. I, I will say it's mostly on him though. I feel like Yes, it sounds like maybe like the beginning was, was not very conductive, the argument, blah, blah, blah. But like, you got to communicate. If, if she's being like, I'm always getting dishes with gunk out, you got to be like, okay, I don't personally see that. But like, when that happens, can you like bring it to me Let and me then be like, look at this shit, you dumb bitch. And then I'll be like, you're fucking right. That is dirty. That's my fault. I am an idiot. I am you're a right. fucking idiot. You're, you're correct. <laughs> Uh, but that's instead also, of just, but that's also like another like toll on her though, because like, like she has to yeah, police every single him. thing. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah that's true. That's, that's true. his ass. I agree with that. That's why plates in the car is the ultimate solution <laughs> to this. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> why we've said I, I, anything else? For for people in the comments who are, who might be like, uh, yeah, her it was an overreaction to just throw plates out. That's extremely wasteful if you really think about it. It is. But I could see her frustrations. Um, yeah, when she maybe. brings it up to you and then OP is like, mm, nah, that doesn't happen. What a, <laughs> did news. the plates have some stuff? Did the plates have some stuff too? They had like a little bit of crust in them, right? I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. She, uh, she said, I mean, so. plates are probably easier to like clean off for him at least because he's the one that's kind of fucking up. But the yeah. like utensils and shit, like, okay, okay. That's, that's justifiable <laughs> to me. To trashing it? I mean, if it's like super dirty, well, I'll just make his ass clean it again. Yeah, I would just fucking... Yeah. 
I would stockpile it. And then as soon as he noticed, I'd be like, all right, these are all the dishes you got to clean. Look at them individually. Look at your mistake. (laughs) (laughs) They need to sit down and freaking hash it out. Yeah. Uh, Reddit deemed asshole. I'm so, I'm so like PTSD because I was like, did I miss something about potatoes? Is this a goddamn pun? I don't fucking know. No. Uh, I was trying to, you're trying to always fork a pun out of me. God damn it. There it is. Never going to happen. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Uh, Lonnie Lee three said, you're the asshole OP. You've been ignoring a concern that your wife has been talking about for a while. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Cringe to contemplate your, uh, your crack. (laughs) Contemplate. Uh, I cringe to contemplate your crack about the dishes not being clean enough for her. How not clean is acceptable to you. Buy new dishes and unload the dishwasher yourself in the future. You might actually notice the food particles stuck to the dishes. Or maybe you need a new dishwasher. Uh, we had to replace ours because it didn't do an adequate job. So, That's uh, would, uh, Josh, OP, did you see any comments about uh, locking away plates? <laughs> I did not. That was a creative mm, interesting. one. A unique one. Mm. I thought that would have been the obvious interesting. solution. Interesting. Sean Hemsworth, <laughs> top comment says, lock your plates in a safe. And what does that say? Leave them in your car. Says if safe is too right? expensive, car is good. <laughs> <laughs> so do. Uh, OP did respond to that one, though, and said, oh. our dishwasher is fairly new. We replaced it about four to five years ago. And she keeps it pretty clean, does cleaning washes in it regularly, cleans out the filter in the bottom. Uh, I did not attempt to rinse the dishes more because I've never witnessed the problem myself until I took the knives from the trash and they were dirty. So it sounds like she does all the maintenance to the dishwasher as well. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, so she's, so she's cleaning the plates and then she cleans the dishwasher and sees all the gunk that's in there too because you don't rinse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it's not going good for you, my guy. No, he, well, he <laughs> it lost. sounds like you're really not doing anything at this no. point. He unloaded the dishwasher once and was like, well, I never saw a lot of <laughs> sea shit. I've never seen anything. It's because she cleaned it. <laughs> All right. Moving on to our final story of the day. Oh, unless you're rich. Uh, it's got an update with it, though. I'll Ooh. give you that. Uh, it's cross posted by the goat. Mary gets 2011. Hell yes. The year of the goats. And the title for this one is, am I the asshole for not wanting to have sex after my wife turned it into a reward slash punishment system? Damn. That's the way I'd be doing everything. <laughs> is, is this a punishment to me? <laughs> what can I do to get some sweet treats? All I gotta do is take out the trash? Easy. <laughs> you want me to wave? You want me to sit? Let me lay down. I'll do that shit. Uh, roll over. Whatever the fuck you roll want. over. Yeah. This is where we learn this is your guys' kink. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I get it. Finding out that you've been duped uh, is probably not a great feeling, but also, it sounds like the reward is pretty good. I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I got to hear the context. Yeah, I don't know. All right. I agree with Sean here. But yeah, know, being, but, you know, being tricked is, is no good. But the but the reward but is the a reward cookie. is a cookie. Some say the also, greatest will, cookie known to man. <laughs> uh, I will also say not wanting sex is you know completely okay in any scenario. That's fine too. But oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. But like John said, <laughs> <laughs> you know, hell yeah, brother. should trick away, please. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh shucks, <laughs> I'm so mad. That oh, house I'm is spotless. <laughs> John, why are you naked? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think my wife is experiencing a phenomenon called the seven year itch right now. We've been married to each other for seven years now and did not have any serious problems before. Around the end of 2003, she started offering sex for small gestures such as gifts and doing chores. 2003? Damn, this is a late Reddit. 23. Oh, okay. I was about to say, God damn, this has been weighing on your heart damn. heavy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, for the last seven years, and since I have been an independent adult, I make sure to handle my share of chores. She offered mind-blowing sex for me for doing her part of the chores, which I enjoyed first. Then it turned into gifts and gestures. Mind you, these had all been present in our relationship for the last seven years. Nothing out of the ordinary. Wait, hold on, hold on. She's giving him gifts for us? No, no. So, like, uh, so he, uh, he did her part of the chores one time, and she okay gave him sex for that. 
And then I, anytime he did chores or gestures or gifts, then she would reward him with sex. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, and it sounds like he's also, you know, does his part of the chores. So it's not, not the issue, I think. Okay. Um, that change happened literally overnight. Great sex life. We both take care of each other's needs by communicating clearly and respecting their wishes. Even though it was good at first, it turned into a form of reward slash punishment later on. For example, you did not do X, so no sex for you. Or good, you did this, we can have sex. I asked her what is the deal with this she did not do before. She said she gets turned on and feels emotionally connected when I put extra effort into the relationship. I just rolled my eyes at that. What changed overnight for this to happen? I should have asked back then. It has been a few months since it started and I could not take it anymore. I started refusing her advances because it's such a turnoff for me. Yesterday, she came to me and said, you did the chores. I think you deserve a reward. I told her, quote, Sounds like I the start of John's what- video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? You, know, well, I, you <laughs> fucking vacuumed the rug and guess what? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I think the problem is after, at the end. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So he says, I told her, quote, I do not know where you've seen this, but it's getting out of hand. I'm not a Pavlov's dog that you can give a treat to or punishment to communicate with me if there's something wrong. But this change you had overnight is ridiculous. I'm you expect Pavlov me to beg dog. for it and obey you. I was about to say, you say chimp, case. I say how high. You know <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're making me feel like I have not contributed anything to chores or did not show you any gestures before that. Just tell me what is happening because we, are, if we are going to change every good aspect of a relationship because you saw it somewhere else, uh, this relationship will die faster than a candlestick. Uh, she stormed out crying and slept on the couch, and I'm getting the cold shoulder now. Did my wife turn into an eight-year-old child or what? What is this sudden change, Ew. and am I an asshole? <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. What, what is that? Compa- hold on. Uh, and am I the asshole for not wanting to, her to have sex with her, or not wanting to have sex with her and calling her out on be- her behavior? I would appreciate advice, especially from women. So two men, mm. give your yeah. advice. Or Here do you want go. me to hear, do you want to hear my... Yeah, let's hear your like, take, because me and John are not seeing the problems. Yours. Okay, so it sounds Same. like all of their sex life turned into reward slash punishment. And for me, it feels like if that would if that would happen to me, it would feel like, oh, my wife's not having sex with me because she's into me. She's having sex with me because she feels obligated because I did chores. You know what I mean? For me, it, like there's that switch where it's like, like, yes, do your share of the chores for sure. That's we always recommend that. But if it's like, oh, I'm only giving you sex because you did this. It's not because you love me or you want to have sex with me. It's because I did this thing. You know what I mean? That's where I'm, I think he's associating that with. I guess if it's literally only the times that you do the chores, then it it does feel weird. Uh, But also, you know, it sounds like a simple conversation because it sounds like, you know, she explained, oh, it's just, you know, when I, when I see that, you know, you do extra things for me, then I, you know, blah, blah, blah. But if it's like, I don't know. I just had the conversation, I think. Well, yeah, he, I think, yeah, he's, he's opened up to it. I guess the, the conversation, uh, but, uh, for me, it's no different than just being like, oh, I'm paying you for sex. Like she's, she's paying him in chores or whatever, or he's paying her in chores. Like that's the, it's, it's transactional, which makes it an issue. I think relationship. the way I would be so excited if Nancy <laughs> was paying me for that shit. <laughs> I, that, uh, I mean, that, I, of like, course, yeah, this, this is different. <laughs> <laughs> the way I would be like, ah, oh, shit, dude. I pay I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it once in a while. There's nothing wrong with it once in a while. When you like are like, damn, I really appreciate that. Or like, yeah, uh, like I have that off my plate. Now I'm in, I'm in the mood. You know what I mean? Like, damn, Sean. I get that. <laughs> I guess we're dogs, bro. Because... <laughs> I don't see the problem. <laughs> wolf, wolf, I want a more emotional connection <laughs> with my I'm sex I'm sorry. Life. Okay. I'm sorry, but... No, go ahead, John. No, I'm just... I, I don't know. Like, I, I think also, too, that there's... They've been together for so long that, like, routines have been established. And because they've been together for so long, she kind of associated, like, hey, she does, he does, like, all these nice acts for me, these acts of service. Let me repay him back in a certain way. So maybe in her head, that's her way of showing affection towards him. But something in him flipped to be like, wait a goddamn minute. Am I just being like social engineered right now to just be doing shit? Um, But that's 
to me, that's kind of on him to figure that out. Like, hey, what do you really want to get out of this relationship? But yeah, like this is this this is my dick think, thinking instead of my brain. But like to me, if that happened to me, I would have been like, what do you want me to wash? I'll fucking <laughs> rewash the dishwasher over and over again. Yeah, I think I, I I do think you know it it definitely could be bothersome to some people for sure. If it's like I could see it. If yeah, it's like absolutely. this is transactional, I'm not really feeling the love. I'm not really into it. And if that if that's the case, and uh, just be like, okay, I know you like to reward me when I do you know your chores or whatever. How about instead of sex, we fucking go grab some. pizza, go do something, yeah. go blah blah blah, and slowly yeah, yeah. move the reward. Because uh, you know if you do things. Or sometimes, you know, maybe that's just her Have type. Have love them back. Yeah. Maybe that's just her, her her type of, like, love language. Like, oh, my love language is, uh, I don't fucking know the love language. But, like, receiving yeah. and giving gifts and blah, blah, blah. Maybe that's just what she, you know, likes to do. So, if you, if, if you want to, you know, stop this, I would guess just be like, okay, look, I understand, like, but sex isn't the only gift that you can give. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. try and take sex away from the chores and then let sex become its own like thing and let that happen naturally. Let's get like ice cream or some shit every time I do your chores or yeah, something like that. Sure. But again, if this were but, me though, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If this were but me, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it, it's it, at the end of the day, it has to be on the individual to figure out what they want to some rewarding someone with like intimacy and giving like, you know, like part of yourself, like in the act of like, intercourse or just being together it's like an act of love for them and maybe that's her way of showing affection but he seems like he's not fucking with it even well though he the is argument i would say it. to that is it, it it switched randomly right and so it seems like she got so that's on him. somewhere or it's on him oh. it's on him to feel like th that switch i'm confused no, about I was confused about the switch because he kept mentioning like yeah when he, he kept mentioning like this came out of nowhere but then also in the beginning he was like it's always we've been yeah, doing this for the past like seven that. years no 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 sorry 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 that was it was very confusing he was saying he that the chores that and stuff like that they've been doing that normally for seven years she's he said okay at the seven year period she switched to rewarding him for sex when he would do her chores or extra you know uh so that's where the switch was it was after seven years in two thousand twenty three. <laughs> Uh, and so it's been a problem for a few months now is what he's saying. I don't know what part you guys aren't getting. You guys are just staring at me. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I mean, so was she giving the, different rewards before like ice cream and shit? He doesn't say. Uh, okay. So, I mean, it's just, uh, so it sounds like, it sounds like you've been doing double the chores for six years. And then in the last couple of months, you've been getting a bonus. I don't. I don't. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't see. It. I'm not seeing the yeah. issue whatsoever. I'm like, what switch are you talking? We might about? be canceled for this one, John. But this sounds. I don't, like I don't give a shit. But that, that's what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, it's on the individual. Yeah, to just be like, like I don't. Is, I don't like. Uh, let's get ice cream. Exactly. I think just say let's get ice cream instead of sex. Well, I th I think you were on the right track, John, when you said like, uh, yeah, it's fine for the first little bit. I'm sure he was like, oh, this is awesome. This is sweet. And then I'm sure when sex turns into only transactional sex, that's when it becomes an issue, right? Because it's like, oh, you're not doing this because you love me. You're doing it because I did something. But has I, he said anything? Well, he, he is, he's brought it up. So, I mean, and, and don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying she's yeah. an asshole. I'm not saying he's an asshole. I think this yeah, is yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. have a conversation about this. This I is definitely well, that's for sure. conversation. The, the solution, yes. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. The, the problem that went wrong in this situation for him, because... Again, for me, if it were me, uh, but <laughs> but uh, for him is like he he the first time bringing it up, it sounded very like confrontational and angry for sure. As opposed yeah, to yeah. just being like, "Hey, I noticed this is like a thing that happened. Is it like subconscious? Uh, you know, like what? Why are we doing it like this? I feel like the only time we have sex is if I do your chores. I'm gonna do some, yeah. yeah. Like if that if that's what this is, maybe we could like switch it up. You know what I mean? And then just for sure have sex come naturally whenever or, but, or whatever change they agree to make. Going yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, this is just definitely a conversation. You went a little bit too hard uh, for the initial conversation. Um, I will say that I won't call him an asshole. I'll just say his, he was a bit abrasive oh, on his initial. I don't think anyone is in this situation. No. They just need to fucking talk. They just need to talk <laughs> yeah, it out just, in a non aggressive yeah. way. Cause it sounds like he tried to yeah. talk, but he was like, this relationship will burn out quick. I'm like, Whoa, okay. Well, <laughs> this is the first time I'm fucking hearing about it. I thought we were doing a good thing here. I thought you enjoyed you the bonus. <laughs> Cause again, if it were me, 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. You do anything you want me to do. Well, we, we have an update here. Uh-oh. That, uh, why'd you say uh-oh? Updates are not Well, usually bad. updates could either be good or bad. I just want to know what happened. Okay. <laughs> so let's hop into it and see uh, what more information we can get. So OP says, I was planning to talk to my wife today, but surprisingly, she came to talk to me early morning uh, during breakfast. She apologized and told me things I said made her understand she hurt me and she felt terrible for that. She told me she took it too far without reading my reactions. I also apologize for telling her off like that and losing control of my emotions. We had a great discussion about what happened, why it happened, and our marriage in general. I asked her if she thought my gestures were not enough or if she thought the share of chores were unfair. She said it's not like that and there's no problem with the share of chores nor my gestures. She has been feeling less confident and adding a new dynamic to her relationship by making me uh, try more made her feel better. Just like before we were married. Also, she told me having less things to do allowed her to completely focus on me and turn her on more. She also stated she was feeling shy, initiating due to her confidence and this dynamic helped her to initiate. I asked if she was happy with our sex life and me. and She said she was more than happy and the reward slash punishment thing has nothing to do with it. My final question was if, this, if she had this kind of kink. She said maybe. She felt good playing like that, but accepted turning the whole sex life into this was terrible of her. I agreed that while it was good at the beginning, turning the whole sex life into a reward slash punishment system and doing it all the time became a problem. I told her I'm okay with the kind of play or any kind of play as long as it's communicated. I'm a freak, so no problem from my side. We had more talk about private things, but in the end, communicated our thoughts and feelings to each other clearly. And in the end, she told me maybe I should reward her for being a good girl this time. Oh, and this oh awakens boy. something sleeping in me. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. See how this shit turned out? Communicate! <laughs> this is the greatest advertisement for communication that we've ever seen. Oh, my God. Everyone's uh, getting cookies in this episode, man. <laughs> or in this story, I mean. Uh, I do not know if I'll be able to wait until the night. Uh, finally, there were some people demonizing my wife and telling me to divorce her or find an affair oh, right away. What the f- it, What? That, that was another man being like, I need her. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I can fix her. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, some declared me as a deadbeat husband, accusing, abusing my wife by making her mommy me, even though I clearly stated it's not like that in the post. No, never. Yeah, I never got that vibe. I never got that vibe for sure. Yeah. Why people love assuming things with zero information like that? Uh, to make one party guilty, chill. The problem is solved, and I would say that with that challenge, our love and sex life will level up from the looks of it. Thank you all for the suggestions and help. Cheers. And that is the Hell yeah. positive update, John. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, uh, you know what? That's what kind of had the feeling I have. Like, that was her way of, like, showing affection is through that. Had it been executed, oh, yeah. like, uh, in a way that made him feel uncomfortable? Sure. But both of them... Being in a long-term relationship, the key to it is, and as cliche as it sounds, they just got to talk. And it seemed like they never really communicated that. But when they did, there's a lot more fucking involved. Yeah. And it's, you know what I mean? Things are cliche for a reason, guys. Communication truly is key. Uh, it unlocked something in him, as he said, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> All I'm saying. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 So like, truly, like nobody was the asshole. He came a little strong at the beginning, but he immediately realized what he did. He apologized. She also yeah, apologized. She did too. Yep. And it's, it's, it was truly just communication. Like, I, I don't think she was lying whenever she was like, yeah, when you do extra things for me, it works for it me. It makes me feel and good. Then I, yeah. Of course, when I'm feeling good, that's what I want to do. So yeah, like focus on you. Yeah. yeah. So, but of course, you know, you brought it up. Hey, this makes me feel uncomfortable, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's, it's and a honestly, win-win. I think, I think her explanation of that will be like, okay, yeah, we can go, we can continue this moving forward. Uh, just, you know, mix it up with other, <laughs> other times that establish it's not just boundaries is what yeah. should yeah. be in a relationship. Hey, but all I know is this guy scrapes his food and uh, rinses them before. It's <laughs> oh, <dishwasher>. for sure. <laughs> You know, this, this, yeah, she seems like a happy gal and yeah. my guy. They seem like a good guy. couple. Um, yeah. That is truly one of the few Am I the Asshole stories where no one was the asshole and we had a good No, no one at all. That's yeah. <laughs> such a wholesome well, story. They're having good outcomes, all right. <laughs> mm. All right. That is it for this episode, Wikimaniacs. What did you think? Were these people assholes? Let us know down in the comments on YouTube, Discord, or our subreddits. 
Uh, if you want to hear more, like us disagreeing on almost every story in the Patreon, Ooh. go to Patreon. Go to Patreon.com slash Cultivate Podcast Network. You can unlock bonus episodes as well as extra stories every Friday and Monday. Uh, and finally, happy birthday, Tita. Happy birthday, Tita. Happy birthday, Mom. Yeah. Hey, comment 13 if you think Sean and Josh are cute. Oh, I thought you were going to ask oh. the comment. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you could have easily been you, <laughs> you got your own you got your own section already, mom. You be uh, all right. I'll see you later. Comment 69 if you'd like to be rewarded with sex by your partner. <laughs> oh my god. Because 69, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> sex. Uh thank you guys for giving your takes. Wait, you I don't like I don't like another the amazing motion episode. That's what's happening. Yeah. Oh yeah. Audio listeners have no idea what's happening, but <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Bye. Bye.